Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How are you doing today? Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me. I'm here to do a little flip through of these little mini dictionary, antique dictionary journals that I had been working on and I think I'm finished with them now. So uh, when you see this video, they will be listed in my shop. I'm going to try to do kind of go kind of quick, but do de detailed. I'm going to do a detailed flip through on this one. And then this one is very similar except for, you know, it has a different cover. So we'll go quicker through that one. But um, this one, they're both tied with a piece of fabric here or a piece of linen, which is right here. This is a very old piece of linen. And I use some of this lace on here. It's very beautiful, aged, you know, it has a very nice patina there to it. So I tore off a strip of that. I never um, used a piece of linen like that for a, anything like this, like a tie closure before. I didn't even know if it would rip but it ripped very nicely and made a very nice tie closure. And I had tried several different things before this and it uh, just wasn't clicking with me. And then when I put this on here, it just, you know, it was like, oh, that, that that's it. That's the perfect closure. So that is a little closure. Let me move this out of the way for a second. But here it is. This is the little green French English, uh, you know, little antique dictionary cover. And if you remember, all I found in the thrift store was the covers. I've added a piece of lace from that linen I just showed you. One of my little coffee dyed flowers here with a pearl. And a little bronze book plate there, or a name plate, where you can uh, actually put something in there. The slot is open here at the top where you can slip something in there. Here's the pretty fabric that looks so well with this green. And this is sewed all around. If you remember the first video, we repaired this cover and we kind of had to glue it back together, make a new spine. And then I sewed all around everything, the cover and the spine on this one, just to help make sure it's secure and safe for years to come. You know, I just pictured this being a cute little antique book journal uh, keepsake type of thing. And of course you can add all your bits and pieces to it. But um, here's how I started out here in the front cover and the back, I added this pretty wrapping paper and then here's more of the fabric you know on the spine that fabric that's on the outside too and then I did sewing I each signature starts out with a uh, wrapping paper page where I sewed on and well it's glued and sewn on um, some coffee dyed paper and I was kind of I think this one I did different stitching on each one or it could be the same I'm not sure I kind of was playing around with my stitching so but there's um, this one, I think there was, if you count fronts and backs, there's 222 pages. I had no idea there were so many pages in here. I just kept putting in pages, and that's what I ended up with. I wasn't really even counting. I just put in pages until I was happy with what, how it looked. So this is, um, I'm going to try to describe the pages really quick here because there's, like I said, there's a lot. But um, I want to, you know, and someone asked me what kind of book pages I um, use too, so I want to try to tell you. And answer that question but this was a book page this is one of the Swedish book pages I won from Annalise and so it's you know she said they were from the late 1800s so it's late 1800s and it's a book page and it's um, Swedish in Swedish language this is from a vintage guest book here with a little pocket that we made together in one of the pocket videos and I've got a little tag in there and that one folds out I'm just not going to take the time to open it up right now but that opens up into it this is a whole book page here with a little postage stamp on it and if you remember in these journals also I was using up or trying to use up that um, grungy I think it was called a grungy ephemera pack that my friend had gave me at work for my birthday last year and it had been sitting for a year I did use up most of that I only have a little bit left and this is a piece of blueberry paper here, coffee dyed on the back. This is, um, it's a printout uh, that I um, printed out from, I got the kit from Sherry Smear at Studio 28E. That's the only uh, piece of digital um, in here and it, everything else is original. I just had this in my, in my paper pile, uh, you know, of, of fun papers to use. So I used it in here, a piece of it I thought was so pretty. 
Here's a piece of ledger. You can see um, the side has some writing. It's the one with the, the kind with the pink and blue lines. It's so pretty. Over here, I did a little pocket with a and a cluster kind of together. This was a receipt that was on one of the ledgers with a, with a postage stamp and postmark still on part of the envelope here. So a little cluster there with a pocket that slips out this way. And this is just a pretty little drilling spot that I ended up with and I slipped it in here. I thought it was so pretty. And um, besides being coffee dyed, it has some of my writ dye on it. And I cut fussy cut this out of my flower guide. It's a vintage flower guide that I have and um, wanted to use some of that. So that's from a book page technically. And then uh, this is some more ledger. And I think this is from a book or one of my ledgers. It says miniature personal account books. It might have been from that grungy pack too. I'm not sure which one that was from. This is a pretty little note paper. I did want a little color in here. So I added some little note papers and that's one of them right there. Here's some ledger. You can see the writing there. And um, did I say these are in my shop when you see this video? I think I did, but if I didn't, they are. Um, this one is ledger. This looks like coffee dyed paper here with a pretty little, I wanted to try to use a couple of my stickers since I never use my stickers <laughs> and I need to use them, you know, trying to use things that I haven't used that I, you know, that are nice and pretty and, you know, I bought them to use them. So that was, a, and it's very vintage looking and it goes with the colors in here. So that's there. This is a Tim Holtz person on a vintage game uh, score sheet. And so I made her into a belly band. See how this slips behind her? <laughs> and this is another piece of little coffee dyed paper. Um, I kind of like love coffee dyed paper. So I, this is kind of, this is a little drilling card and I used my rubber stamp here on it. This is birds, I like a vine with birds on it. I just thought that was so pretty. And I needed to slip something small and, and not bulky behind here. I didn't want to bulk up this journal any more than it's already, um, you know, bulked up. So. <laughs> I just I needed something to put behind her just so I didn't add any bulk in. Just love that. So that's behind her. Here's a piece of um I have an old address book that I took apart and this is, you know, adding that color again and an old piece of paper. I uh, added that as a page. Uh, this is a page from something. Uh, probably a one of the one of the uh, journals. I mean, they did have some blank pages, you know, the end pages that are in the front and back. That could have been from a book, too. Uh, this is another piece of uh, address book there. This is a music page, and this was in that grungy pack, I believe, unless it's mine. I don't remember now, because uh, I have coffee dyed um, music, too. And then this is a little cluster here that I made from pieces from the grungy pack and some of my lace up from that linen I just showed you. And... This I received in Happy Mail from, I think this was from Sonia, and uh, I added this little topper here of wax cord, and I think I punched that hole in there, and um, so that turned into a pretty little tag there, and it matched this journal so well. Here's another pretty note paper, as I said I was trying to add color. In the center of each signature on the little strings, I have some tiny, I pulled out my tiniest, uh, bronze charms this is a little like teacup and this is a little butterfly right here At, like i said i didn't want to add bulk with big beads or anything in the middle and so these are nice and flat but they're you know kind of uh very vintage looking and the bronze color is what i like to to go with this type of journal so this is the second half of that first signature so i'm just going to kind of flip and if we come to ephemera, I'll show it to you. But you have already got the description of these pages. So I'll just show you what it looks like here in the second half of that signature. I like all the different shades of the different papers in here. Plenty of lines to write on or draw, put in your pictures. Whatever you want to do. So here's the second signature. See, there's that sewing again. And here I have a tab. This is from another piece of lace that I had. I believe I had cut this trim off of something. 
and so now it's just my a piece of lace that I have and I have more I have some more of it I think I still have it out but anyway it all looks like this just this size right here a long strip of it I have and so I made a little tab there and added this little bull pin with a bronze cross and then as we flip through the first half of this signature you'll see a lot of ledger paper uh, you'll see game sheets and just uh, some old note paper even this is, was a I think I opened up my refill a vintage refill pack of little note papers here you can see the holes and uh, that was old it was starting to turn colors and uh, I just really think it's neat so I added some of that in here another pretty note paper game sheets this piece was in the grungy pack and it was sewn around already it's a recipe so I, I use that as a page here's a file folder that I just clipped onto this page so this is you know loose you can be a journaling spot or whatever you want you can add it in, into a, as a flip out or you know pocket whatever you want to do and this little clip is in here a little bulldog clip with some fabric on it there to decorate it so that's just right there and on the other side this is um, another one of the Swedish book pages there, I believe. Some note paper, and then we're at the center of the middle signature, or the second signature, with some little charms. Here's a little tiny, tiny, tiny. Let me show you, because it's so adorable. <laughs> it's a little tiny ladybug. Isn't that the most adorable thing? I don't know. I got those in Happy Mail from V, and I don't know where she got them. I'm going to have to ask her. She probably got them at a thrift store, too, so, you know, uh, but if I can get more of those, I would love to because they're so, they're just the cutest things I've ever seen, and they don't take up a lot of room, you know, and then you have a little pretty little charm, and they're so cute. Anyway, um, the second half of that second signature here, lots of little cute little pages, and it's all about the paper, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's all about the paper. Don't we just love the paper? Here's a little paper flower that was in that uh, grungy pack with a button. And I added a little, this was from Sonia, my little Subian friend. And I think I, did I add that on? I'm not sure. She might have had that string on there. Or I added the string on. I'm not sure which one. But uh, that's a little tag from her. And Ledger. And here's that other pocket that we did together. This is the mini one I put in this in this journal. See how it unfolds like that, and then it folds back up. I added some little pieces of uh, ephemera. I think those were from my Tim Holtz ephemera, the little mini pack of ephemera that he has. And that's a little tag that I just had in my stash. So I put that in there. There's journaling room on the back of that one. So let's see. I think we're just about to the yep the third signature right here with more sewing around. Oh, this is a different stitch, as you can see around that page. Like I said, I was playing around with my stitching a little bit. Just having some fun. I like to do that sometimes when I'm sewing around a page. Just do different stitches, you know, and have fun with that. So here's the third signature with all the same sorts of papers. Not in the same order, of course, and not exactly the same paper especially the ledger paper that's written on. Those have all different types of things written on them. Here's a little cluster. Uh, just some fun papers there. And here's a book page. This might have been in the grungy pack. She had several uh, book pages in there that I wanted to go ahead and use, so I think that's what that was from. And then here's some more little charms. Let me just show you. This one says love on it. And this is like, I'm not sure what this is, but it's cute and it's bronze and it's a little charm. It's a little ring like, it could be like a miniature ring or a, it almost looks like a little wreath too. So it's cute, whatever it is. So I put some labels on here, like there's sticker labels. And here's a little side tuck with a, this is one of the tags that we worked on together that I did in the Roxy Challenge and added a little vintage sheet topper there to that one. And it's tucked in there. This is the second tab, uh, tab here and this one I sewed on a little button. 
they are a little vintage button and it's the perfect color I thought and then this is a little um, envelope here that just has a couple of tags one from Sonia and it fits in there perfectly and this is just a little piece of cutoff from a book page that I thought was so it's just a vintage paper that you know I didn't want to throw it away and it just folded up so nice I thought you know what that's just a perfect little extra journaling spot there and then as we flip through this is the fabric here and I wanted a little pocket and I was looking and I, and I wanted it to, to be strong you know so looking at the papers that I had out here I was like oh here's this fabric let me just make a pocket out of that so that's what I did so here in this pocket I have let's see I just have a little couple of tags another one of the Roxy uh, challenge tags those I have backed with that painters masking paper and that's the napkin I had collaged on there and this is a piece of fabric I had some that bag of scrap fabric and that was in there so I put that on as a little topper and it, actually you could put a little string in there too if you want it has a little eyelet there a Sonia tag there and this is a Sonia tag too I think I added those strings on there one night I was sitting here me and Maria were crafting together and that's what I did with her um, I put little strings on all these tags and little holes and made, made them into tags if they weren't tags already <laughs> so yeah we're on the second half of the third signature here lots of fun vintage papers there's a little fold out here's a um, let's see this is a pocket let me see does it fold up it sure does it opens up like that I have a little cluster on here that says believe in yourself and there's a little white butterfly with a pearl there and a tag from my stash which has lined paper on the back and that's sewn around too and so let's see I have no idea how long this video has gone for right now but I think I'm gonna have to do the second journal in a separate video because I would like to show you the um, goodie bag a little bit I did these uh, I wanted to I didn't have any envelopes small enough to fit in there that were already made and I had I had coffee dyed I have a listing in my shop too for coffee dyed envelopes and I was just dying to use one of them so I pulled out the smallest ones that I did have so and I added a little label here a little bird stamp you know rubber stamp and then a little postage stamp and a postmark I wanted it to look like a real envelope uh, even though it doesn't have you know an address or anything on it but <laughs> you know what I mean I wanted to look like a real old envelope and then I put in here a piece of the map uh, scrapbook paper uh, that I had in my stash. I had this in my stash, that's right, and it just fit in here so perfectly that I thought, well, that was meant to be. So that's some journaling room there in that envelope that I love. And then this is a little booklet I had in my stash. Um, you know, I had a couple of these and I thought, well, let me use these because I tucked in a little file folder and then here's the little booklet with just some let's see I'm trying to see which way is up and which way is down I think this is up here but just some random little you know scrappy kind of junk journaling kind of little booklet here I love making these with my scraps so that's what that is and it has a little fabric spine and everything so that's super cute and then in here, when I was getting ready to clean up, I looked around, I said, you know, if this was my junk journal, what would I want? You know what I mean? Like, what would I want? So, like, I brought, I feel like I brought this journal to a certain point where it's ready to go to its new home. And now, whoever gets it is going to take it from here and make it their own. So, if, this, if I were getting this junk journal, what would I want? I want things to use to make it my own you know maybe I have my own pictures and my own little tickets and mementos but what else would I need so I put in here a coffee dyed index card and I pictured someone maybe writing on these things or making collages this is a um, I think this is a coffee dyed little note paper from a vintage notebook these are pieces of the masking painters masking paper that's the craft color and this is the green so good size pieces of that to do whatever someone might want to do with those this is just um, from one of my flower books 
that you can cut these up and do collages or clusters and whatever you want. This is some of the scraps from the wrapping paper that I thought someone might like to have fun with. That and that and that. That's all wrapping paper. And then there were some pieces of my different ledgers and game uh, score sheets and things here. So this is um, the perfect little things to do like a collage sheet with or collage on the pages of the journal this is music coffee dye this is from this is just an old very old um, book page this is a piece of uh, from my atlas this is not scrapbook paper this is actually from a vintage atlas this is from my flower guide a page from that this is a little uh, page from a book uh, it's from a book uh, journal where you keep track of the books you read. It, it's so cute. It was so cute. I took it apart. This is a vintage, uh, very old postcard. It's not a reproduction or anything. This is actually old. Um, it's at least vintage. I'm not sure if it's antique, but it is vintage. This is a piece of lace because I was going to actually put lace on the edges of some of the pages. And I didn't. I said, I just, something told me not to. I think I get vibes from the new owners of these journals, but uh, something told me not to. So I said, well, you know what, I'll include it. So what I did was take a link, a length, a three page length, so that someone could, if they wanted to, like if I was gonna do it, I would have put one in each signature. So I put enough for that to put, if somebody wanted to put this on the edges of three pages, one in each signature, they'd have enough for that. So that's what that is. And then one piece of um, coffee dyed paper, my coffee dyed paper that I make. So that is in there. And then you have the cup, the paper bag, which is also old, but you can make a journal out of a paper bag too. So all kinds of fun goodies. So I'm going to do the other journal in a separate video because I have a feeling my time's up. So I'll see you in the next video and I hope you enjoyed this whole process of rescuing these little books and I think they turned out <laughs> really cute. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Happy crafting!